Hello everyone, this is Neil from Edureka and welcome to this interesting session on Top 10 Programming Languages of 2018. 2017 has come to an end, we just have a month left and here are the Top 10 Programming Languages that you need to look out for in 2018. Starting at number 10, we have Elixir. Now, Elixir was introduced in September 2014 and a functional, concurrent and general purpose programming language that runs on a language machine. It's a language that compiles to bytecode for a language machines where everything is an expression. Now, it's created by Joe's Wallop and has gained a lot of popularity mainly because it has become the foundational language for one of the most popular messaging application, which is WhatsApp. Now, using Elixir, we've been able to create better applications for message processing, connecting IoT devices and streaming of data. This in turn has made the Internet of Things domain work quite fast and effective thanks to this language. Now, if you're moving into that domain where you want to explore something new and get a good idea of Internet things, then definitely Elixir is a language that you should look out for. Moving in at number nine, we have R programming language. Now, R has gained a lot of popularity and is one of the biggest dominator in the analytical domain. This is mainly because of its ease of use and simple syntax that a lot of statisticians and non-statisticians love this language as well. Having very strong graphic capabilities due to libraries like ggplot and ggplot2, it also has a very powerful command line scripting tool which makes it quite easy for storing numerous series of complex data as well. Now, since it's an open source project, it has an edge over its competitors like SAS and MATLAB as well. Now, due to its platform friendliness, it can run on Windows, Mac and Linux and is being used by organizations like Google, Facebook and Firefox for their advanced analytical operations as well. Coming in at number 8, we have Golang. Introduced by Google in 2009, it's a very fast, fun and productive language which is being used across different domains as well. Now, Go is recognized in tradition of C but makes many changes to improve brevity, simplicity and safety as well. Having features like faster compilation time, remote package management, online package documentation and having a distinct approach to various existing problems, Go comes with a desire to keep language specifications simple enough to hold in a programmer's head in part by omitting features common to similar languages as well. Used by most popular organizations like Dropbox, Google, Netflix and Uber, it's also being used with new age technologies like blockchain as well. So definitely this is something that would be really helpful if you're looking to move into new age tech as such. Next, we have Rust. Introduced in 2015, Rust is a system programming language sponsored by Mozilla Research. It has been the most loved language by Stack Overflow developers for 2016 and 2017. It is mainly managed by Mozilla Foundation and these are the people who manage most of your internet related operations. So definitely if they are introducing and they are working on this language, you can expect a lot from this language as well. Organizations like Chef, Dropbox and NPM use Rust for various different operations because of its minimal runtime and memory safety as well. Following this, we have Scala. Now Scala has been in the market for quite some time. Now, Scala is a general purpose programming language designed to express common programming language patterns in a concise, elegant and type safe way. It smoothly integrates features of object oriented and functional language enabling Java and other programming languages to be more productive. Now, ideally, the code size are typically reduced by a factor of two to three times when compared to an equivalent Java application. Scala helps to boost development productivity, application scalability and overall reliability in the industry today. Scala has dominatedly been used with respect to tools like Spark and has gained a lot of popularity in the big data domain as well. Organizations like LinkedIn, Airbnb, Foursquare, Netflix, Tumblr make use of Scala effectively. Coming in at number 5, we have Swift. It's a safe, fast and interactive programming language that combines the best in modern programming languages, thinking with wisdom from far wider Apple engineer culture and diverse contribution from its open source community. The compiler is optimized for performance and the language is optimized for development without compromise on either. Now, for those of you who are new to programming language, this is one of the most friendly programming language that you can definitely pick up as well. Now, 
Swift in turn combines powerful type influence and pattern matching with modern lightweight syntax allowing complex ideas to be expressed in a clear and concise manner. As a result, the code is not just easier to write but easier to read and maintain as well. Now, LinkedIn is using Swift for their applications. Right now also, Uber is switching their iOS application over to Swift as well. Enterprise-wise, IBM is using Swift for their apps as well as working on an online compiler for the language as such. Firefox has 23% of Swift code in its iOS implementation as well. For those of you who are looking for iOS development, Swift is the biggest player here. It has to an extent replaced Objective-C, but definitely Swift is growing beyond iOS and Apple as well. Next, at number 4, we have C Hash. C Hash is an object-oriented programming language, which is a style of programming that carries its own advantage as well. It's the most powerful programming language for .NET Framework and takes the help of Visual C++. Being designed by Microsoft, there's a lot of documentation available and if you're looking to develop applications on Windows, definitely this is your biggest support as well. Now, now, when I say application development, Chash is not just restricted to Windows application, but also can be used for Android, iOS, and Windows Phone applications as well. Now, those of you who are coming from programming backgrounds like C, C++, and Java, this is definitely one of the easiest programming languages that you can really pick up as well. Now, coming in at number three, we have one of the most oldest and popular programming language, which is Java. Now, Java has been in this domain for quite some time. It doesn't really matter which domain you work in, you will surely come across Java sooner or later. That's how effective and widespread Java has become today. Having become the foundation for various frameworks like Spring, Struts, Hibernate, and the list just keeps going on as well. It's being used in various domains like web development, application development, like your Android application, stock market, big data, and I can keep giving you a big list as well. Today, there is no domain where Java is not present and has been one of the biggest programming languages that most programmers are aware of as well. Coming in at number two, we have Python. Now, this personally is a favorite of mine. Now, if you are new to programming and if you are looking to go into a development job role, this is definitely what I would recommend you to. It's a very easy to understand and easy to pick up programming language. Now, it is an open source programming language and can be used for various operations like web scraping, testing, web development, analysis, artificial intelligence, and so forth as well. Now, Python today has gained a lot of popularity in comparison to most programming languages that are out there. And if it was not for the number one programming language, Python would have definitely been the biggest programming language of 2018. At number one, we have JavaScript and TypeScript. JavaScript is a programming language which you can use to implement complex things like on a web page as well. On a high level, it's the most used programming language in the world and has the largest open source package repository in the world as such. Companies like Microsoft, Google, Accenture, Uber and so forth, the list does not stop, use JavaScript effectively for their various purposes. TypeScript is a superscript of JavaScript which compiles into plain JavaScript objects. Now, TypeScript is something that has a lot of biased opinion, but definitely is one programming language that will pick up a lot of attention going forward as well. JavaScript has become the base for various frameworks and library like Angular, Node.js, React.js, and so forth as well. Now, when you talk about the features of JavaScript, it basically is a high-level programming language with high dynamic capability and full-fledged complete access to the users as well. Now, it's believed to be the language of web and is the backbone for the internet that is available today. When you talk about the features of TypeScript, it has various capabilities, some of them being early error detection, as in that compiler can check for errors at the surface level itself while compiling. And this in turn makes it quite easy for the users for debugging as well. Now, using TypeScript, you can define one main entry TS file and refer all the TS files that you need in the output JavaScript file. Now, when you compile the main entry TS file with the out option, the compiler will concatenate all the directly or indirectly referred files into one JavaScript file in order to which they were referred as well. Now, TypeScript supports huge applications quite easily, which was earlier difficult with JavaScript. Now with this we come to a conclusion of this video. Now in case we've missed out on any programming languages, 
please feel free to comment them in the comment section below thank you and goodbye i hope you enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply to them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to our edureka channel to learn more happy learning